Hello everyone, today is May 24th, 2010. Um, today I'm going to be talking about how evil and wretched I am and how evil and wretched you all are too. Um, so, now, the Bi God describes us as, as wretched and, and the definition for wretched is someone who is in denial or exile. A lot of people may say, I'm not in denial, I'm not in exile. Um, a lot of times, you are. Um, you, you deny God a lot sometimes, so you're in denial. And sometimes you, sometimes you feel lonely, so you're in exile. And you do a lot of, a lot of sinful things, that's also exile. And, and therefore you don't deserve what what God has to offer. Now, a really good way to figure out if you're if you're a wretch or not, or to to find out if you're a wretch, is if you go against the Ten Commandments. Now, the Ten Commandments first first commandment is, I am I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You shall have not have any other gods before me. Uh, second commandment: You shall not make for yourself a carved image or uh, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth below, or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them or nor serve them, for I, for I the Lord, your God. And with jealous God visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children to the third and fourth generations of those who hate me. But showing mercy to thousands, to those who love me and keep my commandments. Third, should, you shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. For the Lord will not, will not hold him guiltless who takes his name in vain. Four. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Six days you shall not you shall labor and do all your work, but on the seventh day, which is Sunday, is the Sabbath day, Sabbath of the of the Lord your God. In it you shall not do any work, or you nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your male servant, nor your female servant, nor your cattle stranger, who who is within your gates, whoever. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth and the sea and all that's in it and rested on the seventh day. So therefore the Sabbath day is holy. So, and then fifth commandment. Honor your mother and father that your days may be long upon the land which the Lord your God has given you. Six, you shall not murder which also Jesus says that that murder or that, that you shall murder is can also you, you're also murdering if if you hate someone in your heart if you hate someone then you're committing murder so and then seven shouldn't you shall not commit adultery uh, that that even goes along with what what you think. It's it's not always about what what you're doing physically and stuff. It's also what you're what you're thinking and stuff. What what your thoughts are. Um, eight. You shall not steal. Cause it's just wrong, mean, and there you go. Yeah, I don't know how to explain that one. Uh, nine should not bear false witness against your neighbor. No lying about. Okay, um, don't say your neighbor your neighbor took something from you when they didn't. Don't lie about somebody, cause that's just that's just wrong. You can get you can get a lot in a lot of trouble. That's don't spread rumors. Also, ten. Shall not covet your neighbor's house, 
should not completely covet your neighbor's wife, nor his male servant, nor his wife servant, nor his ox, nor his donkey, nor anything that is his, is your neighbor's. Okay, like say uh, if say if someone had a really cool uh, PS3, PlayStation 3, um, and I wanted it real bad, I would be coveting him or her, whoever. I, I would be going against that commandment. And so now, uh, if you when you when you go against these commandments, you're you're technically in a really dark place, like a dark cave. Yeah, a cave is a good analogy. Um, you're in a really dark cave, but but the, with every cave, there's there's always that entryway or exit exit way whatever um, that shows light and Jesus is the light is that light so go go to it go to the light and become and and as you go towards the light become more like like Christ and if you become more like Christ you will become less of a wretch and and practic practicing your beliefs is a good way to is a good way to become more like Christ when it, now also whenever you're taking uh, the Lord's Supper at at church the Lord's Supper says that you are a wretch but like that but it, it also says that you are a sinner saved by the blood of Jesus Christ who died on the cross to save you from sin so just there's basically no no other way to to say it except Jesus as, as your Lord and Savior and you'll still be a wretch yes but you will be saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. What more can you can you ask for for that? I mean, w would you rather would you rather be a wretch your whole life and and just and then spend eternity in hell, or would you rather or would you rather ha live? live a full life knowing that you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior and and spend a eternity partying up in heaven that's that's the way I think of think of it in heaven we're all going to be it's all going to be one big party because uh, a lot of people go go up to heaven every day basically um, at least that's what I like to think and when people, when somebody comes to heaven, it's a welcome home party. Um, so, yeah. Okay, now, I, I'd like to, um, well, actually, that's all I've got for today. I'll see y'all, see y'all, I'll try seeing you Wednesday, if not Friday. Um, I should have something for Wednesday, but until then, God bless.